What are three steps that our listeners can take away from this conversation to start implementing, building a more intimate and connected relationship with their partner? The first thing is always either start from the drawing board if you're starting your relationship or in your the, the early stages, or if you've been in your relationship for a considerable amount of time, go back to the drawing board. Yeah. Simple. Identify your values. What do we mean by values? That which inherently is important to you. Not the type of stuff where it's like, oh, that's important to me. Oh, that's important to me. No. Actually, what is it that makes you tick? And this comes with some self-analysis and contemplation, right? Which is why we're so big on the self-work. Because if you don't know yourself, you're not actually going to be able to be able to identify those things. So it takes some experimentation, but it means you both coming to the drawing board and identifying and sharing, baby, this is actually what makes me tick. This is really important to me at a core level. Like, if this isn't honored, if this core important aspect of myself isn't honored, I don't know if we can survive this and vice versa. And that honesty is very important because it puts you in a very strong starting position. So there's that, that's as a first thing. Do you want to add a second? I was going to talk about the disagreement. So we reframe disagreements as opportunements. So they're an opportunity in the moment to look at what keeps coming up as a disagreement and how you're disagreeing about the thing. So if there's something that keeps reoccurring and you keep disagreeing about this thing, That's a topic of discussion that you need to make time to discuss in your sacred union. The second is your lens. So my lens of Meshach is that he's capable, that he loves me, that he's on my team, that he's understanding. If my lens or my view of him is that he's committed to misunderstanding me, he ain't but a dirt on the back of my shoe, you know, how I talk to him, that that energy is going to be in there. So I have to look at, you know, if this disagreement keeps coming up, How is that I actually view the person that I say I love every day? And it's about really, really being honest about that and communicating that and as to why. Oh, I actually think of you like this and it stemmed from that time where you didn't hold the door for me yeah. or you you finished my food even though I said I was hungry and I was tired. Like, it could be silly little things like that. But, you know, in saying that, it is very important for everyone listening Mm -hmm. to know if you're not aware that what Annabelle just said about it stemmed from this little thing. Don't discount yeah. or don't underestimate those little moments in the past in your relationship or in, in the past with in other relationships or friendships where something's happened and it's created a trigger point yeah. within you that now you bring it into this new space and you're getting triggered by your lover in this new space thinking it's them when in fact it's Nothing that which is them. which is rooted in that little moment before, but they remind you of it based on what they say, what the way they look, the way they the the expression they give. So really, this is about again self work, self evaluation, really going in to see right what are my triggers, what are my emotions, mm-hmm. how do I react or respond to my feelings? And one of my favorite quotes, although I'm sure I've got many, one of them is that, <laughs> and this is particularly for the men out there, but not limited to the men, is emotions make wonderful servants but they make terrible masters he tells that to our sons often <clears throat> and it's a very important one because our emotions are the way through which we're able to manifest many powerful things but if we allow them to if we subject ourselves to them and we allow them to be our master they run rampant so it's so important to be the master of your your emotions or feelings yeah. and not the uh, servant of them So that's reframing the disagreements as opportunities to look at what's actually going on. And then the third? You talk about the lens. The lens. lens. So that's kind of 2.3. Yeah, and then I I gave the first, which is about identifying values. So we've got three there. Yeah, the lens is identify how you in your relationship, sacred union, are viewing your lover. What Mm -hmm. lens is it that you're viewing them through? And once you look at that, you can then almost adjust the energy that you 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 start conversations with, the way you broach difficult subjects, the way you celebrate, the way you share. Really, really monitor and take stock of how you are viewing your lover. 